Hi, I'm Laura GB. If it's your first time here, don't forget to press subscribe. This video, we're going to look at using Power Automate to pull data from a Power BI data set. So let's start by looking at our report first. So here's our sales report, and we've, we've got our monthly sales. So if I filter down to, what I want to do is fill, send those June figures last month to a senior management uh, by product. So that's what we're trying to do. So let's, we're going to use Power Automate to send that email. So let's go to manage your flows and my flows tab. And I'm going to click create. It's going to be a scheduled flow. And we're going to put in send product sales and we're going to run it every month. So let's click create. And here's our new flow. We're going to add a new step. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull data from our Power BI data set. So we're going to go to Power BI. And I can then search this one. And what we're searching for is query. If I could spell it, it would help. But hey, it's OK. It fixed it for me. Run a query against the data set. That's all we're going to go for, not the JSON one. And then it asks for a workspace. And my workspace is called hat full of data. And my data set is called sales data. And then it asks you for the query. Now, this is DAX it wants, OK? But you don't have to write that DAX. You'll be glad to know. You can write that DAX by using the Power, using Power BI Desktop. So let's switch across to Power BI Desktop. So this either needs to be the report we just saw, which is what we've got here, or it needs to be a report connected to the same data set. So what we're going to do is on a blank page, we're going to add a table that I'm going to put in the data that I want to be able to see. So let's just drag that over here, just for a second, just makes, brings everything closer together for a minute. And I'm going to add some data. So we're going to start by adding in the product name. And I'm then going to add in sales. And uh, total sales measure that I wrote. So there we are. There's the basic data. But that's all of it. I want to filter it. OK, I want to filter it just to one month. So if I move over to the right here a little bit. I can see I've got, I can go back to the data tab for just for a second. And in my calendar, I've got a month offset. And I'm going to drag that month offset into the filters on this visual. And I'm going to change that filter to say is. And last month is the month offset is minus one. I can apply that filter. And there we are. My data is filtered right. Now, the total line, I don't want that total line to come through, OK? So I'm going to remove it from the formatting. So I'm going to go to my totals and I'm going to remove it. Now, if you want to see the difference that does, have a go both ways, OK? So that's got me my, my, my table. That's exactly what I want to be able to send the person, OK? So what we're now going to do is we're going to get the DAX that's behind that. So you do that by going to the Optimize ribbon and clicking on Performance Analyzer. And over here on the right, that uh, that gives you a new pane, Performance Analyzer one, and I can click Start Recording. And then I'm going to click Refresh Visuals. And I've only got one visual on this page, and that's that table. So if I expand up what it gives me there, it shows you how long it takes to draw that, OK? But the important part down here is Copy query. There you are. I've copied the query. Let's go back over to Power Automate. And I'm going to click into that query text. And I'm going to put in into there. And there you are. You can see all the parts in there. And if, you, and if you're a DAX expert, you'll understand what it's doing there. OK, but that's that part done. So now we're going to want to email that to somebody. So we're going to do a very simple version. This is not going to be the prettiest email in the world, but we're going to start by just doing a quick HTML, create a HTML table. And we're going to come into here. And there we are, run a query, first table rows, 
So that can go into there. Then we're going to write a new step. And we're going to send an email. And I'm going to send an email from Office Outlook V2. So we're going to put in the senior manager's email. And then I'm going to put in monthly sales figures. And I'm sure there'll be lots of blurb that you put above it. But then what we're going to put into our email is the output of that create HTML email. Now, it's, it's not really the prettiest thing in the world. OK, so that's that's not the purpose of this. The purpose of this, this video is to show you the getting the, getting the data. So we've done all that. We've done that. Let's remember to save. And now let's test it. So I'm going to go to test. And I'm going to go for manually testing it. Click the test button at the bottom of the screen. Click the run flow button. And then click done. And there we are. Really quickly, it's run that flow for me. OK, so now we're going to let's go and have a look at the inbox. And there we are. In their inbox, we can see that email. And there we are. We have the sales product and we have the total sales. Now, it's put some square brackets around some things. And this text isn't formatted totally as we'd want it. But that has pulled data from a Power BI data set using Power Automate. I'm Laura GB. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.